hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to get the plan id here in microsoft planner let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in microsoft planner i want you to click the sign up option and from here just to follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go to get the plan ID of a Microsoft Planner plan, you can follow these simple steps depending on the method you are using. Once you are logged into your account, I want you to click on the My Plan section. All right. And for example, this is going to be the plan that you wanted to get the Planner ID. Now here, all you have to do is very simple. All right. Now the plan ID of any plans that you have on your Planner Hub comes right after the plan. All right. So this after the forward slash all of these are going to be your plan id why do you need it all right now if you are using for example a microsoft graph api or any other third-party tools the plan id is required to programmatically interact with your plans for example you can use this plan id right here all right to Retrieve tasks, create new tasks, or update tasks in a specific plan. With automating workflows of the plan ID is necessary to link plan actions, such as creating or updating tasks to the correct plan. Now, if you want to set up custom notifications or reminders related to a specific plan, having the plan ID allows you to target the plan with precise automation. And again, the plan ID is very essential when collecting data about task completion, task distribution, or team performance. This can help in generating reports or dashboards related to a specific plan in Power BI or other reporting tools. With the plan ID, you can track the overall progress of a plan by aggregating data across tasks using Power Automate. All right. Now, if in case you encounter any problems like getting the plan ID and these series of characters are not available, all they're going to do now is contact the Microsoft support. All right. From here, all I have to do is select a new product that you need help with, and that's going to be Microsoft 365. You might want to choose from any of these options. You can choose to get home support, or you can get business support. If you are a non-admin user of a business account, just click on the get self-help support here, and one of the customer support staff will give you insights and troubleshooting steps on how to get your planner or plan ID if in case you're having a problem with it, all right? And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.